Hello, my name is Pierre. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to delegate authority in SAP CPQ and explain when you would want to use this feature. Most of the CPQ videos on this site demonstrate how to configure CPQ using an administrator account. But what about the real-life situation where a site's administrator wants to delegate certain administrative tasks to another user, but without granting that user full administrator rights? That's where delegation of authority comes in. Let's consider an example. One of the companies on my site is Barton Park LLP, which sells audiovisual equipment. One of their employees, Eleanor, is responsible for supporting their salespeople, Edward and Lucy. Without giving Eleanor administrative rights, I would like to empower her to perform certain support tasks to facilitate the team's day-to-day -day activities. For this demonstration, I will keep two browsers handy. In the first one, I've logged in as Eleanor, a non-administrative user. That means she doesn't have a setup icon on the left side of the page. But, like all users, Eleanor does have a user menu at the top right of the page. When she pulls it down, she sees an option to edit her profile, called her user page. Below that, she can manage any customer she has created while building quotes, and any quote documents she's generated from these quotes. She can also customize the layout of her quotes and generate reports on her activities. Because Eleanor is not a salesperson, she probably won't use these much, except for the user page. But stay tuned, because this menu will soon show more options once an administrator starts delegating responsibilities to her. Eleanor views a product in the audiovisual category, the ICU camera. Its description displays the percentage of customers in the current market who are satisfied with this product. Since her current market is US dollars, she sees that 87% of US customers are happy with this product. In my second browser, I've logged in as the site's administrator, which means I see the setup icon below the catalog icon. I select the setup option to navigate to the setup UI, where I view this camera in products. In the description field, I see that the satisfaction percentage is being pulled from a custom table. If you want to know how that's done, see the video titled How to Create Dynamic Product Descriptions. As the administrator, it's my job to upload the latest figures from an Excel spreadsheet once a week. From now on, I'd like to delegate that task to Eleanor. I'll start by creating a permission group specifically for this use case. In the Users section, I will open the Permission Groups page, where I create a permission group named Sales Support. For now, Eleanor Dashwood will be the only member of this group. Now that I have a permission group, I'll use it to grant Eleanor the authority she needs to update the custom table used in that product's description, Customer Satisfaction. I can do that by visiting the Custom Tables page in the Delegation of Authority section. Here, I simply add the Sales Support Permission group to the list of groups allowed to manage this table. It's that simple. Newly delegated permissions take effect the next time a user logs in. In my other browser, Eleanor logs back in and, right there in the User menu, she can now see an entry named Manage Tables. When she selects it, the single table she has access to shows up. When she takes a look at what's in this table, she sees the customer satisfaction data for one product, the ICU camera. Eleanor can upload the latest customer satisfaction data right here, which is what she'll do now by clicking the Import button. She will select an Excel import file titled Latest Customer Satisfaction. When she clicks Save, she sees that the satisfaction percentage for the ICU camera has dropped from 87 to 85% in the U.S. market. In addition, a second row has been added to the Customer Satisfaction table, this one for a Magic Mirror camera. But that product doesn't exist yet. It's defined in another Excel file called New Products. Uploading new products and editing existing ones is something else I'd like Eleanor to take over, but I'd like to make sure she only edits products relevant to Barton Park LLP. 
As the administrator, I return to the Delegation of Authority section and open the Simple Products page, where I will allow Eleanor to manage simple products that belong to Barton Park LLP. I create a new delegation and specify that the Sales Support Permission Group manages only those products defined as visible to Barton Park. Members of that group will only be permitted to add these products to the audiovisual category. Eleanor now logs in again to see the effects of this delegation. Sure enough, the user menu now has a Manage Simple Products entry. When she selects it, she can see the audiovisual products specific to Barton Park. Right now, there's just one, but Eleanor can import more, and does so by importing the Excel file named New Products. She can preview the products before importing them, and the preview shows a product named Magic Mirror Camera. She clicks Save to finalize the import, and navigates back to the product catalog to take a look at this product, confirming that it's correctly pulling the customer satisfaction percentages from the updated custom table. It does, which is great. What about when a new salesperson joins the group? It would be great if Eleanor could set up their account. For that to happen, the administrator creates a user management delegation where any member of the sales support group can manage users of type sales who work for their own company. I need both conditions to be true, so I'll pick AND logic. Eleanor now has an entry titled Manage Users. Selecting it brings up the company's two salespeople, Edward Ferrers and Lucy Steele. Now that Christopher Brandon has joined the team, Eleanor can create an account for him. He will need to reset his password to get in, so his company email address must have already been set up. Notice that Eleanor is limited to a single user type, sales, and a single company, Barton Park LLP. That's because the terms of her delegation restrict her to those values. After entering basic information for Christopher, Eleanor makes sure that his default price book is the Barton Park VIP price book. She then saves the user, and CPQ will send Christopher a welcome email containing a link he can use to reset his password. The Setup UI also has a page the administrator could use to allow Eleanor to load new quote document templates specifically for the Barton Park salespeople, and allowing her to perform bulk quote reassignments in case one of the salespeople goes on sick leave or gets a new job. In this video, I demonstrated how delegation of authority serves to empower a user to perform administrative work on their company's assets without being granted full administrator privileges. Thank you for watching.